Welcome back. After our long stay at Big Bend, we started heading north and we went on sort of a national park spree. We hit three national parks in three days. It was pretty wild. Uh, let's just jump right into it. So the first national park we stopped at was um, Carlsbad Caverns in Carlsbad, New Mexico. It was awesome. Um, you had to walk 800 feet below ground to get into this cave and there were stalactites, stalagmites everywhere, really underground beautiful. pools. There was, uh, there was something called the Big Room when you get down to the bottom, which is this enormous cavern that opens up. It was so big, it took us probably 40 minutes to walk around the whole perimeter. It was huge. Day two, we traveled about 45 minutes south from Carlsbad Caverns to Guadalupe Mountain National Park, uh, which is a really cool national park. Uh, had never heard of it before. It's got a ton of hiking trails. Um, we just did the one trail, McKittrick Canyon, which is really beautiful. It's desert terrain, but it had uh, all kinds of really cool plant life. It even had maple trees mixed in there. It was beautiful. Um, we ended up stopping on that hike uh, right near a creek. If there's a creek or a river, um, that's where we're going we're gonna to spend most of our time. So that's where our hike ended for the day, and we um, just spent lots of time relaxing by the creek. It was fun. So from there, we headed west uh, across the mountains. We went through Lincoln National Forest which actually had some snow on the ground. It was the first uh, snow that the kids encountered on the trip. And uh, so we had to get out and have a little bit of a snowball fight. <laughs> and then we arrived at Oliver Lee Memorial State Park in uh, Alamogordo, New Mexico. Uh, really cool state park right up against the mountains with a canyon trail in there. 
um, and a 30 minute drive to White Sands, so really convenient. So then we headed to White Sands National Park. Um, we made a little stop at the visitor center and checked that out. And then we um, drove through the national park and it was, the views were amazing. The sand looked like snow. Um, we went and sledded. Oliver Lee Memorial State Park actually loaned us some sleds for the day. Yeah. So they, if you're ever going to go to White Sands, stay at Oliver Lee. They have free sleds that they let you borrow. Yeah. Um, and then uh, you just drop them off when you're done. You don't have to purchase your own. After White Sands, uh, we planned to head west a little bit further. We weren't sure where to stop. And so when we were looking at the map, we came across this place called City of Rocks uh, State Park, uh, also in New Mexico. And we were so glad that we went to this place. It was so cool. It's this small area. Area, uh, with a collection of like hundreds of these giant boulders um, all kinds of different shapes and sizes all laid out right next to each other they've got paths winding in between them you can just go get lost in the paths and hike around for hours if you want to the kids loved it it was like a giant playground for them they had they each had their own little houses their own little areas inside of uh, the rock paths and stuff um, and then I read that there was some uh, Native American uh, water wells, you know, like 8,000 years old, where they uh, carved out a well, went hiking around, and I'm pretty sure I found one. Check out the clip. Uh, this is what they were supposed to look like. All right, so let's get into lessons learned. We just have one uh, main lesson we learned on this trip. Uh, City of Rocks was dry camping. And so we were only able to do it because our friends had an extra generator that we could borrow. And uh, we had a blast and it was super cheap. It was like $8 a day. Um, and so we went out and uh, bought a generator after that. So the lesson was get a generator, makes you much more flexible, just like with the sewer tote, you can go to way more places. And then also at our last stop, um, our power went out and we were very glad to have the generator. So it's really just a good thing to have. So that was three national parks in three days. We hope you enjoyed it. If you're liking these videos, make sure to like and subscribe so you can follow us on the rest of the journey. Thanks so much for watching.